peek there uh, about training camp. Um, we got to, but we did get to follow you around earlier this week. Uh, yeah, we did. Little day in the life action, if you will. Yeah, it was. Um, we had cameras on the coach for the entire day, and this is the final product. It's called uh, Day in the Life of Kevin Coach Keithley. The day started bright and early for Coach Keithley and his crew. 8:30 a.m. That is. The day was going to be a busy one as the goal was to sign uh, several players for the ready for training camp. But first, really let's listen to the serious have, uh, coach Keith. Uh, so, the bottom line at the end of the day is we get him on the phone and see if he wants to uh, play basketball yeah. and, and make a living. And if you don't want to make a living and uh, make a commitment, it's no different work. You set something up for him. You can say, I didn't get directions, but yeah. you, he knew about it, right? Well, he knew because I called him this yeah. I called him on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, so he knew about it. Yeah. And if I he, told him what time I was going to be. Yeah. You know. So if I if I'm applying for a job out in the uh, workforce, don't for an interview. you don't show up for an interview, <laughs> then uh, it's not going to be my fault right. uh, if you didn't show up. Okay. Now that that's out of the so way, player number one to contact uh, about his contract was Kevin Spicer of Alabama State. State. Yeah. What's the last word on him? Four hundred. That's. A, I just talked to him about. He's a kid. That's enough. Yeah. Six seven wing. Pretty good, good player. Uh, has he signed? Has he signed his contract? We haven't got one out to him yet. Okay. So what about the first draft pick for the Miners, Earl Calloway? Earl, Coach Kevin Keithley here with the Miners giving you a call. Just wanted to uh, talk with you a bit and, and uh, get everything squared away in terms of contract and, and uh, travel arrangements uh, for training camp this coming Friday. Hope everything's going well for you. Uh, when you get a chance, give me a call back. As soon as we get done, right. call his agent. I called his cell phone. If I don't hear back from Earl on a cell phone within the hour, I'm going to call him back. Okay, now it's 11.15 a.m., and we are now back to Spicer. Now that the contract is signed by the coach, it's time to send it off. Hmm, we seem to have some trouble with the fax machine. Um, yes, ma'am. I was going to check on a printer cartridge. Um, model number 3115. It's a, it's a Dell. Do we see a model number? 3115, 3115 CN. But that would not stop Coach Keithley and his crew. It's now 1230 p.m. As they still continue to work hard as they contact more players about the training camp. This time, Coach Keithley calls up the agent of Jason McLeish. Okay, and um, in terms of the league, did they approve the contract yet? I haven't got word back if it's been approved. It's still a little early in the day. I, I, I would expect that I'd probably hear something within the next 24 hours on it. 1.30 p.m. and Coach Keithley and I decided it's time to grab something to eat. But after lunch, it was back to work for Coach and Jay Fiedler. Commercials were on the agenda as they needed to shoot something for the first ever Coach Keithley show. Presented by Appalachian Wireless, by the way. Tickets are going fast, so, so, ah. I'm standing outside our home arena, but our training camp home is the Heritage House. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> they would finally nail those down and get it together, so no worries there. But that'll do it for the day in life of Coach Kevin Keithley. All right, Coach, now that was, uh, that was one day in the life of uh, Coach Kevin Keithley, a.k.a. yourself. Um, you know, looking back at that, obviously one of the storylines, or, you know, one of the storylines was to get several contracts signed and, uh, you know, sent out to the CBA. You had a little bit of an issue with the printer there or with the fax machine, but at the end of the day, you were able to sign, what, four or five players? We did. We got four or five players done. And, uh, you know, no thanks to the printer involved. We, you know, we had to go somewhere else and get that done, but we did get that eventually uh, squared away. And, and so, it, you know, every day varies, very, varies to uh, uh, different aspects of what you got to do as a basketball coach. We, you know, that day happened to be a lot of phone calls, a lot of faxes, a lot of meetings with Jay Fiedler. And, uh, you know, eight to five, no, we go eight to eight, eight to ten. We work all day, we work all night. It's hard work and it's going to pay off. So, you know, that's just a little aspect of what we do. And, and uh, I'm glad you came, oh, WYMT came down and showed that. All right. Well, that'll do it for the uh, first quarter of the Coach Kevin Keithley Show. But when we return, we will meet the Diamond Girls, the dance team of the East Kentucky Miners. Stay tuned.